as kind of to make sure YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. Overall, the amount of data carried on the Safaricom network in a day has now gone up to 2.6 petabytes. You can equate that to watching 26,000 hours of video content on YouTube. Staying at home has also led to an increase in video on demand services and consumption of content on platforms like Netflix has grown up to 60 Gbps. That's the equivalent of having 30,000 people watching Money Heist at the same time. Crazy, right? Social media platforms like Facebook are also getting more traffic, peaking at 100 Gbps. Simply put, that's having 100,000 people going on Facebook Live simultaneously. Building capacity to keep customers connected is something that Safaricom has heavily invested in. Over the last decade, the company has invested 300 billion Kenya shillings in acquiring state-of-the-art network equipment and setting up the right infrastructure to cope with a growing demand for excellent services, both in homes and within businesses. To support the government's directive for people to work from home, Safaricom has doubled the bandwidth for its fiber-to-home customers, which effectively means that customers now access high-speed internet at half the price. And this has led to the double-digit growth in data volumes. So far, Safaricom has 6,700 kilometers of fiber optic cables across Kenya, and more than 300,000 homes are connected to the internet. There are also 12,647 base stations set across the country to keep its 18.8 .8 million mobile data subscribers connected. As the fight against the virus continues, this converged network will continue to keep you connected and entertained.